It is time for everybody's favorite segment, <laughs> Facts or Your Friends. Now listen, I stumbled on this article back in 2019 and it came back up again recently. And it's by the great Peter Atia. Peter Atia, MD.com. I'll link to it in the show notes. And um, he sends out a weekly newsletter after, sign up for his newsletter before mine, but get on his, it, he's just wise. Um, but he wrote about conspiracy theories and he wrote an article on conspiracy theory theories. And if you've been in America the last, I don't know, a couple of years, there's been a wide range of conspiracy theories everywhere. So here's a couple of things he notes um, as why he thinks there's so many conspiracy theories that have emerged. Number one, truth is hard to accept. The idea that a sad and lonely sick man could climb up in the library window and shoot a sitting president with all of the might of the U.S. government around and alter geopolitics, that, if, that our, our country is that fragile, or that 19 guys just got in a couple of airplanes and crashed them, and that's all it took to rattle this country to its core. He writes, it's better to have a compelling and elaborate story. We tend to believe that extraordinary events deserve extraordinary stories. We're not okay with things being that simple. The second thing is, there's a history of genuine conspiracies, right? Um, they've been real, like Watergate, et cetera. And here's what he has an evolutionary purpose. He says, we're hardwired for survival purposes. A splash in the water or movement in the brush could be a rock in the wind, but better to assume a saber-toothed cat and a venomous snake. It's far more likely to be nothing, but on the off chance we're wrong, we need vigilance to stay alive. <laughs> and there's been some conspiracy theories. A few. The third one? We're significance junkies. We just want to make sense out of a confusing world, and we're willing to go along with just so stories if it helps our brains attach meaning to them. Now, I am somebody who is a big fan of, I don't know, data, uh, rational thinking, logic, things like that. It's just like a th fun thing for me. We all have that one friend, though, that would prefer to listen to the man with 17 YouTube followers out of the trunk of his car with a mobile phone microphone going, ah, talking into like a Fisher Price radio set. Guess what, everybody? I figured it out. Listen to this. We all have that friend. My friend happens to be Rachel Cruz. Check this out. I do not believe in any conspiracy theories. I understand not all of them, not most of them, but you don't believe in any conspiracy theories? <laughs> You just think the government's just batting a thousand and telling us the whole truth? <laughs> That's a strong stance to take. And so we're back. And so in studio, I've got my good friend, Rachel Cruz, and we're going to do this. Oh, <laughs> John. It's the greatest set of oh ever. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so you're Because you don't account for actual humans being greedy and evil yeah, in right, the midst of all go. of this. Here we go. It's just we listening get, to her in. during my... Talking about Dr. Atiyah's <laughs> theories, I could feel it on you. I was All like, right. Peter Schmieder, I don't know who this man is. <laughs> I don't know who this man is. I'm just kidding. The smartest <laughs> man on planet. smart, I know. All right, so let's rattle through some of these. Okay. Okay. Mm, and I'm not, okay, let me say this. I love conspiracy theories, okay? Yes. I'm not like, I haven't written books. Like, I'm not all, like, what's in my head? I will translate to you and I will tell you. I know, I think, but if it but comes if, out of your head, but if you then get they'll know. If you get, like, you can't, like, pop quiz me on, like, very, very specifics oh, of each one. Oh, so I'm like, I'm not, okay. Oh, these are all broad. Let's go broad. Oh, yeah, Let's yeah, go yeah. broad. These are broad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the reason she doesn't write them down, because then they'll know. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> just keeps it all in my head. Naps on my phone because I'm like, certain countries own certain things. If and she, you just want to. <laughs> if she writes them down, they get outside the tinfoil. Everywhere. All right. Number one. Okay. JFK. Oh yeah, total inside job. Total inside job? For sure. Have you have you been to the have you been to the textbook to Dallas? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And have you stood in that window? You're a gun guy, John. Like you you appreciate I've shot. never stood in the window. You take well that's part of the tour. You go and you you go and by the window where he uh -huh. shot. You have to be a phenomenal sniper yes. to be able to do that. Three shots yeah. in seven seconds in a gun that probably is can't look, you can't, it just like mechanically would be very difficult for that to happen. Yes. And to actually aim at a target like that, I mean, I, it looks nearly impossible that. 
And then, and then you don't even then, take into account. I'm so happy right now. CIA, mm -hmm. the mob. Yes, for sure. Lyndon B. Johnson. Lyndon B. Johnson. I mean, all We're these on to you, Lyndon. That come in. We're on to you, Lyndon. I don't know, grassy knoll. So I do believe there are multiple shooters. I do think Lee Harvey Oswald obviously had involvement. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I just think stuff was happening. I just think there was stuff happening. In Vietnam. I mean, there was a lot. The CIA wanted to go and assassinate Fidel Castro. Okay. okay, that's actually documented. Okay. okay, there are actual documents on that. It's clear. So there's it's just, on the there's internet. A lot, there's probably like four different reasons why people would want him dead. dead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Versus Move. some crazy guy that's like, I'm the best shooter in history, and I have a magical gun that can reload, <laughs> even though that doesn't exist in the '60s, and shoot three times. No, the grassy knoll. There was a nut. Yes, other yes, other things were happening. Moon landing. Oh, we're just like go, we're not going to debate. Going down. Oh, oh no, wow, no, no. a moon landing. Uh, I'm going to judge me. If it if it, did, if it didn't happen, I wouldn't be shocked. Oh, um, why? Yeah. Uh, height of the Cold War, the Soviet Union, when you look at all of the facts going against, it's like, we had to beat it. Uh, $30 billion was put into NASA that year. $30 billion to do okay. this. So if they didn't land on the moon, there would be like this uprise, like this idea of like, NASA, what do you do? Like, or they funneled question, money into the secret alien operations. Questioning, question, questioning. And you look, and they had the tech, they did have the film technology to pull it off. Yes. In what, 1963, right? No, no, no. That was that was that was JFK. I don't remember the exact date, yeah, yeah. And what, so, what nine, about, not, 69, thank you. What about the pictures? Like, do you think they've there's actual probes on Mars right now? Uh, no, I'm not talking about current. Okay, I think you we, think, we, we think we've, we're there oh, now? yeah, 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 okay, yeah. yeah. But that actual the, the specific, one? yeah, it was just, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you look at the pictures, though, and it is odd. There's no stars. Like, yeah. there are a couple of things. I'm like, they just missed details. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's my thought, like, with that one. I, I think, okay, they got a group of Hollywood producers in there to do this. Like, well, guys, we had to nail this. We have to trick Earth. We have to trick the planet. And of the people in the room, they were like, Son of a forgot to start. No, like <laughs> really? There's a couple or it's like, like I just hate the politics of the day. No, we, we had to do the it. Flag. We had to beat the Soviet Union in Spain. I mean, there were things and and Kennedy, I mean, he went on a whole thing, right? About yeah, we're yeah. gonna be yeah, uh, all of it. And I just think that America He rallied we us were, around something we could do now, together. Buzz, Buzz all he he's like punch people, I think. Like in real life. Because oh, they people called him have, out? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, so I don't want to be punched. Because and, it, hey, it, listen, it, listen, it could have happened. Buzz but is if a we huge get to heaven and they're like, hey, show. it actually we did not land on the moon in 1969, I'd be like, I mean, I'm just not shocked. All right, Denver Airport. Oh yeah, Denver Airport. Okay, now we're starting to get real crazy. Are you right? <laughs> <laughs> so you and I have talked, just hanging out, like, hey John, you know there's like a thing under the Denver yeah, airport. Yeah, Denver Airport. Okay. What's underneath the Denver airport for our listeners who'd have no idea? Okay, what? well, the Denver airport. So Denver had a full functioning airport, very close okay. to the city, and it was fine. Mm -hmm. Sure, maybe a little small, but it was fine. So when you fly to Denver, you know you drive like 45 minutes to get to downtown Denver. I mean, it is out there. Right. Okay. Um, and if you haven't been to Denver, there's these, um, they're, they're small, but they're around the city. It's, they're called the Rocky Mountains, which make making big things hard. Um, that has nothing. Okay, so it's go ahead, actually, continue. Oh no, that is not. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. We're not talking geography okay. here. Okay. We are. We are. This is we pure. We are focused on facts. Dang, <laughs> there are okay, friends. Okay, so yeah, so no, the Denver Airport one. This one is kind of. I get it. It sounds silly, but again, I'm like, I mean, who knows? Okay, so what is it? So it's the idea that the New World Order, which there is actually a plaque outside of the Denver, River, a statue, and literally at the bottom of the statue, in the circle, it says dedicated to the New World Order. Like it really. Literally says that, so I'm like, I don't understand why people are like, oh, I know, no, but, then but most, true. It's, so the New World Order, it's not like the Illuminati, sort of, but it's the idea, the idea that there are a group of people across the world, powerful people that control everything, right? Like we think our elections, n no, it's all, it's all controlled by by this group of people. Okay, so <laughs> this is the this is the theory. I'm not saying I believe it 100. percent This is the theory, though, and so in order to control the world and we can bring in biblical revelation too at like yeah, end time right. stuff okay that a mass genocide has to happen eventually to allow the world order to control the population because they can't control every right. person right now on the planet there's too Clearly. many there's too many absolutely uh the antichrist i don't know like you can you can start to like weave in some biblical stuff here but so the idea is that there has to be a mass genocide. So you go around the Denver airport today, okay? And the paintings, have you seen the paintings on the wall? No. Are the creepiest Bizarre, it's some artist and they they blame, they're like, oh, it's art. I'm like, no, it's not. There are literal paintings, Google it, 
of a man in a, a huge man on a gas mask uh-huh. and coffins below him with with children of different nations, like different, like at the American flag with different. Yes, there's that photo. There, I mean, the most weird, bizarre, dark paintings are yeah. all over the Denver airport. So it's hints of painting of the mass genocide because here's the conclusion. At the bottom of the Denver airport, there were all these tunnels when the construction was happening. Mm -hmm. There's footage, aerial footage, of these massive tunnels underneath the airport. So the theory is, is that is where the new world order is gonna go stay in these bunkers when the mass genocide happens so that they can survive. (laughs) Literally on this show. I take calls all over for people all over the, the world. Um, explain to me what's going on in their life. And one time, I think on the show, maybe twice, I have said the words, I don't really know what to say next. And this is number three. No, I don't have. I, we, the, were, you, so, so hold on. we were at family hold on. dinner. No, this was like, this was, this one's been around for like 10 years. Yeah, yeah. And we're at a Ramsey family dinner. And I'm telling my family this because I'm like, this is insane, y'all. The Denver airport is sketchy. Like when you, you know, and I'm telling them what I just uh-huh. told you. And dad, Dave, was like, that is the stupidest thing I think I've ever heard. And I was like, oh, you're in on you're it. you're part of it. <laughs> that Dave Sorry. Ramsey might be part of the New World Order. I was like, save me a bunker. Save me a bunker. Listen, one, <laughs> of, the, one of the most important things happens. about New World Orders is they, they wink at the world through their art and statues. And I didn't have any. I had no idea. I would have thought. Hey, why is it? Why is it? De- why is the? Why is the airport though dedicated to the New World Order? Would it like? Why would they? Why would they put that there? I'm just curious. I thought the New World Order was like a WWE group, like a worldwide wrestling group, right? Aren't they wrestlers? Are they wrestlers? Right, why would okay, they dedicate okay. an airport? Okay, sorry. Uh, real keep quick going. on these <laughs> flat Earth. Uh, I've researched it. I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you, you were like, I got to spend some I did. time there with this There were a few documentaries I watched. So I was like, what if, what if, but I oh do gosh. think the world you is You could have been out serving the poor and you're like, nope, I have another use for that valuable hour of my life. I got to find out if this earth <sighs> thing is real. Um, do you believe in any, John, do you think anything in history, hold on, do you think anything in history has happened? Yeah, absolutely, anything 100%. That is not the truth of what was being told. Oh, Absolutely. Yes. Okay, so Absolutely. it opens your mind to the idea that there are people that do things and they tell the totally. public one thing and we're all like, okay, sure. Yes. That's what's happening. Yes. When actually other no stuff was really happening. I absolutely do. Okay. And I like them for fun. Yes. But I really identify with what he said about um, that the, the idea that one guy could climb up in there and take out the president and alter world history. Yes. I don't want to live in that world. And so it I- It feels better. It feels better to, to say, no, no, no. There was a huge plot that everybody knew was in on it. They all knew what was happening. And then they've pacified the rest of us because we couldn't handle it. I have been in boardrooms when we've had hard conversations and nobody lied walking out, but everyone said, this conversation stays here. It has to because- What's going on out there? The, they can't handle it. A friend it. of mine was, uh, she was a, 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 an attorney for a finance attorney. And when they were trying to make the Fed minutes public record, and she was like, God help us. They have to be able to have conversations in there that the general public cannot stomach. We don't need that made. And I, I believe that there's certain conversations that shouldn't be everywhere. Totally. Right? Yes. And yes. So yes. I like the idea that, okay, the CIA all got together and was like, we have to do this. It happened. Now let's move on. I like that version of the world better than, no, that guy could just go, like, the whole thing that we are dancing on is that flimsy, right? Can, can totally, be altered in that totally, way. Totally, absolutely, right? absolutely. Um, and so I like that. But I, yes. And, but for me, I'm like, it's a hard balance of hold, withholding information. Yes. For secure, security, you know, and I get that. Yeah. Like, I can be rational. I understand. But also when you're just lied to, when yes. you're just lied to, though. There's a part of me that the justice in that I hate. And I do think there are things that have happened in our history. Correct. That I'm like, it's just, if it's, why, and and lied to for the benefit of other people. That if there are Always. powerful people, greedy people, and they want what they want. Right. And in order to get that, it's like, well, we'll just do this, this, and this so I can get more money or more power. And that's where I think some of this can stem from. Last one. Yes. Don't go. Thumbs where are you going to go? Thumbs up or thumbs down. Because there's some I don't, I don't want. I won't. I won't. Okay. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Okay. Microchips. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, those will, those are ha- those are actually literally happening as we speak yeah. though for payment. 
Yes. People, yeah, yeah. The BBC so just reported it. That you can get a microchip now. What's different pay. than pulling it out of your pocket and waving it over, than just waving it over? Uh, because it's part of it's it's it, you can't you can I can throw that over there when it's implanted in you, John. It's it is right. part of you. Like they literally. When's the last time you've left so it over scary. like that? Left my phone. Mm-hmm. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Just walked away from it for twenty four hours. Uh, mm, 2011? 24 hours? How, yeah, how many hours are we talking? <laughs> <laughs> See? Oh, ah, stop. Mark of the beast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's my friend. Listen, are some conspiracy and, theory, theories real? Yes, but, oh! but... Of course they are. But listen, most of the time they're not. Most of the time there's a group of people trying to do the best they can, I think, with, with the data that they have. And most of the time, I have to look in the mirror and go, do I really, really think that they are implanting chips in something and I'm just going to put it in a, in a soda, I'm going to drink it, and all of a sudden, like, they got me? Is that really how it's going to happen? Oh, yeah. Is it? I don't know. Probably not. But the thing <sighs> is, do you believe that there's evil in the world, though? Of course. So, I'm like, if, these e- if evil people have enough power and enough sway... <laughs> Then, then it shouldn't be shocking when evil stuff starts happening, right? And then they hide it from us all. You know where they hide it? In the Denver airport, ladies and gentlemen. If you get one thing out of the segment at all, listen, they didn't land on the moon, uh, contrary to what Lloyd Christmas says in Dumb and Dumber, and two, never fly to Denver. 